the term bladder wart bladder wart is a or an a flat worm round worm protozoan or insectivorous plant actually bladder wart is an insectivorous plant these are plants found in aquatic conditions and they trap insects because the condition which they are live they live are the conditions which are poor in nitrogen and therefore not to undergo any sort of nitrogen deficiency they trap insects squeeze them absorb the juice to gain the necessary nitrogen next you must have heard of the other uh, insectivorous plant like pitcher plant sundew plant these are plants which also trap the insect and hence are called as the carnivorous or insectivorous plants the animal phylum having animals with blue color blood or blue color body fluid is there are certain animals in the living uh, world or in the animal world these animals as we happen to have a cut we see the red color fluid coming out or oozing out and then when they get injured and from the injury the fluid that comes out is bluish in color to which phylum of the animal kingdom do these animals belong these animals belongs to the phylum mollusca because uh, uh, instead of hemoglobin they have a pigment called hemocyanin sign sign you know it refers to some like something like bluish in color right so mollusca is the phylum having the animals which carry the bluish color fluid body fluid instead of the red color body fluid like a snail oyster mussels etc next an animal with the longest of life span is you see here one need to be very careful that the size of an animal does not matches does not rely with the la, with the uh, life span it may or it may not elephant tortoise blue whale parrot now if we look at blue whale is the largest followed by animal as uh, elephant followed by tortoise and followed by parrot and if we look at their life span is the tortoises which have got the longest life span normally their life span is from 150 to 170 years while on record there is an exa- there is a tortoise known that has lived for about uh, 517 to 520 years if we look at an elephant 60 to 70 blue whale again 60 to 70 parrot depending upon the species it can be maximum of about 12 years 120 years sorry 120 years a parrot can live that is a parrot if reared at home will see at least three generations of a family before dying the uh, is natural death next the nitrogenous base present in rna but absent in dna is if we look at nucleic acids nucleic acids are dna and rna and the, what they have they have sugar they have bases phosphate group 
and bases. Sugar is deoxy and it's ribo. Ribose type, deoxy ribose type. Phosphate, both have got phosphate groups. Bases, in bases, DNA and RNA differ. Because in DNA, bases are adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These are the bases with DNA. But if we compare it with RNA, RNA does not have thymine. It has got uric cell instead of thymine. That means we can remember DNA, ATGC, RNA, AUGC. Adenine thymine, guanine cytosine, adenine uracil, guanine cytosine. So the correct option is D. Uracil is the one which is present in RNA but is absent in DNA. Next, the blood vessel which brings blood into kidney for filtration to remove metabolic waste is, if you uh, recall, the structure of the excretory system, we drew it like this. That is, there is one which is bringing the blood in and there is one that is taking it out. Now, the question says which brings the blood in is artery. That is, the renal artery brings the blood. Whereas, renal vein is the one that takes the blood, filtered blood away from the body and hence the correct option is B. Next, a yeast cell, yeast you know is a fungi, unicellular fungi, resembles an animal cell being a chlorophyllous, a means without chlorophyll, right. Presence of glycogen, yes. Fungus store the food in the form of glycogen, not starch. Presence of chitin, yes. Chitin is the part of the exoskeleton of animals like insects, etc. So, all of the above then becomes the correct option. That a yeast, despite being a fungus, will show some of the characteristics that are similar to the animal. And that was this. Uh, that was one of the reasons that Arvid Taker has to classify the plant further as fungi and as plantae into two separate kingdoms. Next, <clears throat> the dolphins, once found in waters of the rivers of the Ganges, somewhere in the region of uh, close to Calcutta regions, or up in the Rishi Kesh areas and above, some uh, 10 or 20 years ago, you have, people used to see a number of dolphins playing, jumping, coming up onto the water surface, jumping down, etc., playing. 
Right. Presently, their number has declined because of water pollution and other factors. But these dolphins were what? Were they fishes? <coughs> were they cartilage fish or bony fish? Aquatic reptiles or they were reptiles like crocodiles? Or they were aquatic mammals? The correct option is that dolphins were none but the aquatic mammals. When they used to jump up on the water surface or come on the water surface, they used to inhale the air or exhale the air. Just like a whale, a blue whale, it always every now and then come on the water surface, sneezes the air in and then sneezes the air out. <coughs> Next, among all egg-laying animals, the largest egg is laid by. The largest egg, naturally ostrich is one of the biggest bird, is the tallest bird and the heaviest of the bird. And also the egg laid by the ostrich is also the largest egg, and which is considered the largest cell. Largest unit cell is an ostrich egg. So the correct option is ostrich. Next, <coughs> a part of brain that acts as an interconnecting link between nervous and endocrine system. That nervous system is the one, endocrine system is the other. Nervous system is associated with nerves, endocrine system is associated with the hormones. And we know for control and coordination, both nervous and endocrine system work coordinately. Now, that means the message from the nervous system must go to the endocrine system or vice versa. That is, message from endocrine system must go to the nervous system. Then who is interlinking the two? The interlinkage is provided by none but the hypothalamus. The center of osmoregulation and the thermoregulation of the body in the brain is also an important interlink, important as an interlink between the nervous system and the endocrine system. Next, <clears throat> the largest of the endocrine gland in the human body, pituitary, we know, is the second largest. Sorry, second smallest. Because the smallest alone is pineal. Pancreas is a heterocrine gland, adrenal, now it is a thyroid gland, H shaped gland. In the neck region is the largest of the endocrine gland. Next, the branch of science that deals with the study of the birds is called. Now, in branches, we have different branches like herpetology. In herpetology, we are studying about reptiles, particularly snakes. Ornithology is with the birds. Mycology for fungi. Entomology for insects. So the correct option is C. Oh, sorry, B. Ornithology. Next. <clears throat> Using a light microscope, the bacteria were first observed why? Who was the first to observe the first living cell? It was none but the Anton von Leeuwen hook. In the drop of pond water, he observed these wriggling small structures. And then in the blood, he saw blood cells, or in the semen, he observed spermatozoans. So, the correct option is none but is the Anton von Leeuwen hook. Robert Hook discovered cell.
a dead cell, you can say. Robert Brown discovered nucleus. Rudolf Rico, every cell arises from pre existing cell, ominous C. Ominous C. C. Cellular. That is, all cell arise from the pre existing cell. Hence, option D is the correct one. Whether it is the bacteria, the spermatozoan, or the blood cells, whatever you can name it, any first living organism was absorbed by the entomol neonuc, to which he gave the name animal cule. Cule means very, very small animal. Next, <clears throat> the mineral ions required for the synthesis of green pigment, chlorophyll, present in plant cell is mineral ion. Like hemoglobin, you have got iron. Now, which mineral ion is present? If we look at the kind of chlorophyll, for chlorophyll, it is magnesium ions to be the correct option. Chloride ions are for the hydrochloric acid in the stomach of the humans. Cadmium ions, cobalt ions are toxic. These are heavy metal ions and they have got a toxic effects. Whether it's plants or animals. Chloride ions for HCl, hydrochloric acid, magnesium ions are the ones that are required for the presence for the synthesis of chlorophyll. Next, the dentition of the human infant. Infant, if we look at human infant, he has got the milk teeth that are 20 in number with the formula 2102. That means Two incisor, canine, premolar zero, and molar two. Right? That means what the teeth he is looking, lose, he is lacking is, or absent is, premolars. Incisor, molars, and canines are present. Premolars develop after about three to four years later. Up to three or four years, there are no premolars in the child. He uses molars for chewing because incisors are for cutting, tear, uh, canines are tearing and uh, cutting or uh, cutting of the food. Canines are for tearing of the food. Premolars and molars are for chewing. Now, when premolars are absent, the molars are left for chewing the food in the infants. Next. In humans, ratio of the length of small intestine to the large intestine. Actually, if we look, compare the length of the small intestine to large intestine, we find that there are certain slight variations. But the variations lie within the range of 4 is to 1 or 4.5 is to 1. Hence, the option D is the correct option because small intestine is far longer than, at least four times longer than the large intestine. Why? Because this is the point where the maximum of the absorption of food takes place and maximum of the uh, absorption of food takes place, digestion of food takes place. And it is also therefore the inside lining of the small intestine is not smooth. It's not like this. No. Its lining is like this. To increase the surface area for the maximum absorption of food. Next. In postnatal life, postnatal life is true. Pre 
prenatal and postnatal post means after birth pre means before birth now in post natal uh, life formation of blood cells take place in bone marrow because bone marrow are responsible for are the center for hemo hemopoiesis that is the formation of blood cells but in in case of prenatal is the liver liver is the center for the formation of blood cells before birth that is during the course of pregnancy period but once the child takes birth the function of the bone uh, bo uh, blood cell formation is taken over by the bone marrow next sigmo manom manometer sigmo manometer means you must have seen that the when you visit a doctor he tie strap around your head and he pumps that structure is like it has got a meter like this and there, then there are values like this and it has got a tube coming out like this with a bulb right now this structure this instrument what does the doctor use it for to hear the heart sound no to hear the heart sound he uses what you what you call a stethoscope it is to measure the blood pressure because normal blood pressure is uh, 120 to 80 now to measure the blood pressure the doctor or nurse uses this go mano meter next in an athlete the condition of oxygen depth depth means shortage arises after a period of exercise exercise means strong exercise excessive consumption of glucose glucose has been used up excessive production of carbon dioxide too much of carbon dioxide has been produced accumulation of lactic acid in the body muscles uh, lactic acid has been accumulated as a for, as a form of a or a product of the anaerobic respiration or excessive stretching of the body muscle that during the exercise he stretches muscles more longer what is actually the cause is the cause is c because what happens is during the stress exercise is converted into to atp this is lactic acid once you have once the athlete has finished exercising what happens this lactic acid still remain in the body muscles and we have learned that the ph of the body body fluid has to be in the range of 7.2 to 7.4 7 lactic acid though is a weak acid is going to affect the ph and hence it has to be meta metabolized as early as possible therefore in order to metabolize this accumulated lactic acid during the course of the stress exercise 
blood uh, blood or the body draws in more oxygen more and more oxygen until the lactic acid has been oxidized or reduced and removed from the body and that's why after exercise what we do we ex we undergo panting that is doing it like this this is what is in order to get rid of the oxygen that that means to breathe more times and when you breathe in more times you take in more or you breathe in more oxygen necessary for the body at that time next the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced on the complete combustion of a mole of glucose is one mole of glucose is C6H12O6 it uses 6 moles of oxygen and it produces what 6 moles of carbon dioxide plus 6 moles of water plus 38 ATP so how many moles have been produced because this is one mole or one molecule and this is six six molecules whether it's a molecule or mole it remains the same in general words next the non nucleated plant cell companion cells they have cell nucleus mastermeric cells they have nucleus they are actively dividing cells parenchymal cells they have nucleus it is the sieve cells in the phloem which when mature do not have the nucleus therefore they are found accompanied with the companion cells that in case if they have, they have to perform a function for which they need the nucleus they have that right so so far we have discussed number of the questions and i think and hope that this discussing this question would would or must have helped you and in the next class too we are going to recapitulate with the different questions on the same topic before we proceed further in our studies or understanding of the rest of the part of the syllabus thanks